In his speech to caucus, Kevin Rudd pledged Kevin Rudd pledged to support genuine reconciliation in the party. His campaign team saw the writing on the wall a day or so ago. But that's got some asking why Mr Rudd's chief strategist kept lecturing caucus on how to vote right up to this morning's meeting. George Roberts reports. The travelling Rudd road show landed late at night. The challenger came to Canberra still claiming the power of the people. Theresa and I really appreciate, frankly, the thousands and thousands and thousands of emails, of text messages, of expressions of support. Chief of those behind the failed coup was his strategist. Bruce Hawker masterminded the attack from Rudd HQ in Brisbane. I was one of the people that was saying uh, that she shouldn't contest the leadership. And uh, I think that was done with the uh, greatest of respect. But now that he lost, there's little respect for Bruce Hawker. Stop attacking the elected Prime Minister of this country. And finally, if you want to tell elected members of Parliament what to do, stand for pre-selection and get yourself elected in a seat. These people did. United Party, gentlemen? Absolutely. United. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's fallen to them to spread the word of unity. So ultimately, uh, the caucus has got to decide to, to move on from this today, draw a line uh, underneath this. Every single person in the caucus has that responsibility. Including Kevin Rudd. Including Kevin Rudd. If we can put this madness behind us, I think come the next election, we certainly can win the faith back again. It speaks volumes about the state of modern politics that there have been five leadership spills in little more than five years. Both major parties have had their share, but Labor's determined not to see another one this side of the next federal election. The event's drawn keen viewers and been likened to cheap television. But on the day Hollywood handed out its Oscars, one observer thinks Canberra's been playing like a blockbuster too. It could be just a, a war epic apocalypse now. But finally they thought that the one that would really sum this up the best is a fantasy movie, The Never Ending Story Part 2. No plans for a sequel. George Roberts, ABC News, Canberra.